What's going on guys, Vanax here. Welcome back to the channel. So Rainbow Six Extraction is about to be released here really, really soon. And I'm very excited for this game, actually. At first I kind of wasn't, but with the price drop and the buddy pass and all of the free future content that will be coming on the roadmap, it's actually got me kind of excited. And the fact that it's got that Rainbow Six Siege gameplay and gunplay, but now in a PvE type of mode for only $39.99, I'm pretty pumped. Now, I'm not sponsored by this by any means, but this video is about all of the operators that have now been officially confirmed to be in the game. There's going to be 18. You're only going to have a few at the start, but we'll unlock them as you go, giving you a grand total of 18 operators. Uh, over time on the roadmap, we will have more. It seems that the first updater for the operator will be Sophia. But let's talk about all the available operators at the start. So we have Doc, Ella, Pulse, Alibi, Finca, Hibana, Lion, Sledge, Vigil, IQ, Jaeger, Rook, Fuse, Smoke, Tachanka, Kapitao, Gridlock, and Nomad. So quite a few options here. We're going to go into detail about each one, about what kind of weapon they can start out with, and then abilities that they have and gadgets that they can use. Now keep in mind, each of these operators can be leveled to level 10 which then throughout there will give you options for different weapons and improved gadgets and perks and abilities. So there is a good progression system in this game. So starting off with the first one, we have Doc. The doctor is in. Incursions are dangerous and he'll leave no one behind. Deliver a health shot with his stim pistol to give teammates a boost. Doc can also revive them when downed. He'll get them back on their feet. He should look after himself too. Who else will carry the casualties? Doc. Doc is obviously the doctor, which has a stim pistol, which can heal himself and your teammates from a distance, and starts with the shotgun. As you can see here, the SG, close quarter combat. Now again, these weapons are straight from Rainbow Six Siege. If you ever played that game, then you're already well familiar with what these are. So that was Doc. Now the next one on our list is Ella. Ella is a true rebel. Chaos is her home, and she finds fun in danger. The best device in her toolbox is the Gjmot Mine. Throw sticky proximity mines to stun the enemies. Scout ahead and deploy those mines to maximize her tactical advantage. She has an overall resistance to concussion effects, so she can stay on the move. Be fast and defy the odds. As you can see here, Ella is a reactor. Part of the React team, her tactical expertise is undeniable, but her disdain for authority makes her unpredictable at times. And she starts with the Scorpion Evo submachine gun and has these Grismot mines, which are sticky proximity mines that can stun enemies caught in the blast and the mines recharge over time. This is what the Scorpion Evo looks like. You've probably seen that in other games, and again, it exists in Rainbow Six Siege, so nothing new or exciting there. Now we have Pulse. Only Pulse can stay this cool under pressure and he'll locate any kind of heartbeat, even through walls. Perform a sweep with the HB7 to find parasite nests in hot zones. Tracking nests and destroying enemy spawn points just got easier. Pulse is gonna be one here, which will be able to see things like this. We have a heartbeat sensor, he can pull it up and look through walls, but this time, as I've mentioned on my other videos, that with Rainbow Six Extraction, all of the abilities and gadgets are a little more overtuned in comparison to how they are in Rainbow Six Siege. So his heartbeat sensor, which allows him to see enemies through walls and see heartbeats, will actually work for all teammates, not just Pulse, which I thought is really, really cool. He starts with the M1014 or the M1014, a shotgun, which is a semi-automatic. Now that's pulse for you guys. Next up, we have Alibi. When the stakes are high, Alibi goes all in. No matter the hand she's dealt, her Prisma holograms will do the trick. Use holograms as decoys to lure out the enemies. As they attack, their positions are revealed to the team instantly. The Archeans are seeing double and they should have thought twice. So who's the real alibi? Which is actually a pretty cool character if you haven't already played. Has Prisma, which is the opportunity to throw a decoy of herself, which is kind of cool, actually. <laughs> Throws that off, and then the enemy's Archeans can go ahead and attack that. And he starts with the, or she started the MX-4 Storm, which is also a submachine gun. It's automatic, semi-automatic, and a three round burst. Looks pretty good if you ask me. Next, we have Finca. Here comes the rush thanks to Finca's nanobots. Pushing the human body to the limit never felt this good. Her adrenal surge gives teammates a health boost, it reduces recoil, and increases aim speed. Down teammates are revived, and they're prevented from getting knocked out. Finca 
is also a female, has adrenaline surge, which is what? Temporarily boosts the team's reactivity and survival, revives any downed teammates, and they always go down while active. But it starts with an assault rifle, which is a spear 308, which is fires automatic or semi-automatic. Next up on the list, we have Hibana. Hibana is the epitome of calm precision and explosive power. Nothing gets in her way. Her ex Kairos launcher is ready to ring some ears. Launch sticky charges for remote detonation. They'll stick to any Archean and any surface. Need a breach? Hibana can provide that entry point. Blow those explosives for armor penetrating damage. Chaos and Grace go hand in hand. Which has these explosive mines. They shoot remotely detonatable sticky explosives that stick to all services, detonate to deal armor penetrating damage. She also starts with an AR and assault rifle, which is type 89F. It looks kind of like this in the HUD icon, as you can see. Here's what it looks like in game. It's automatic, three round burst, or semi automatic. Next on the list, we have Lion. Lion always sets his sights on the big picture. The enemy can run, but they can't hide when he activates his EE-1D drone. Detect all moving Archeans in the vicinity. The team can even see the enemy through walls, allowing them to land preemptive strikes. They can't call for backup if they're dead. Let there be sight. Lion, very popular, well known in Rainbow Six Siege. Actually, all of these characters are, duh. But this one comes with the AR V-308 assault rifle, which actually looks like the Vector. It's got automatic three round burst and a semi-automatic. Now we have Sledge. Sledge ain't the kind of operator who beats around the bush. Point where you want to breach and he'll swing that caber, his tactical hammer. Create instant access to rooms for a tactical advantage against hostiles. Get in melee range with his caber. He can even stun the enemy just to knock some sense into them while preserving that precious ammunition. It's Sledge time. Sledge has a big old freaking sledgehammer as you can see right here in his picture. We come down here, he does have a shotgun, the M590A1. It looks pretty nice, semi-auto shotgun there, or is it a pump? Let me check that one more time. It's, a, it's actually, well, it's got the pump there. I'm gonna say that it is a pump action. Yes, it is. And then he equips a robust tactical hammer, which can stun parasites and destroy walls to create new paths. Now we have Vigil. Vigil can't be detected when he's using his ERC-8 disruptor. You can count on Vigil to operate in the shadows. He's a man with no fear, and the Archeans will never see him coming. Timing is key for flawless takedowns and rescues. Silence is a virtue, and in this case, it's optimal. Have no fear, Vigil's here. Vigil, as you can see here, has a K1A submachine gun to start out with. It looks something like this. It doesn't look too bad. It's a automatic three round burst, a semi automatic weapon. And he specializes in electronics and electrical engineering. His stealth technology, the ERC electronic rendering cloak, gives Vigil a distinct tactical advantage when engaging the Archeans. Disrupts enemy, making him undetectable for a medium direction, requires a recharge after each use. For Rainbow Six Extraction, he can actually turn himself and his teammates in an AoE area of effect to make everyone go invisible, which is really nice, but that requires you, I believe, to either be level seven or level 10 Vigil. So keep that in mind, guys, that's Vigil. Let's jump into IQ. IQ loadout is actually not talked about here, but it has the electronics detector. And of course, I haven't played Siege, so unfortunately, I can't quite give you more information on that. Uh, but if you know, you know, <laughs> I actually don't. Let's see, if I look up the electronics detector, for R6 Siege, electronics detector, here we go. The specter detects any mobile or fixed electronic devices within range by sweeping the electromagnetic spectrum. So I'm not sure if that's gonna be beneficial for Rainbow Six Extraction, but we'll have to find out more about that. And I'm not sure what the starting weapon is for IQ, but obviously those who play Siege probably have an idea. Now, let's go into Jaeger here. Jaeger is looking for answers, and he's got a few theories about the parasite. Keeping his team alive as he gathers the facts is the automated turret, the active defense system. Place it on a wall or on the ground. The ADS attacks incoming enemies and intercepts projectiles. Stack them to protect your team and obliterate those Archeans. That should buy him some time to connect the dots. Follow your curiosity with React. Alright guys, this is kind of a long video because there are 18 playable operators at launch with more operators to come, which will be free. So this is Jaeger. He has an active defense system. Looks like he places this and it can be like a mine or an explosive. You can act like a sentry turret as well. It still stops projectiles, but it also shoots at the Chimera infected. 
Well, that's kind of cool. Starts with the MP7, which is a submachine gun, semi-automatic or automatic. Now remember, that's just his starting weapon. He can actually upgrade himself uh, levels 1 through 10 to eventually unlock more weapons for him to choose from. And that was Jaeger. Now let's talk about Rook here. Rook has an armor pack, the R1N Rhino armor pack. Now again, I unfortunately don't know a whole lot about Rhino or what weapons he starts with. If I click on this though, I bet you'll tell me, give me an idea here. If I can scroll down, there's a lot of stuff here. He gets armor pack, gadgets like an Approximular impact grenade, and then primaries looks like he gets some machine guns, a P90, MP5, or the shotgun. So there you go for Rook. Again, like I said, there's going to be a lot of similarities between Siege and Extraction. And Fuse, where's Fuse? Boom, Fuse is down here. Fuse is a Russian, it is a React operator set to be featured in Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six Extraction. He's going to have a cluster charge, which again, we don't know much about that in terms of Rainbow Six Extraction. They have not shown much of him, but it looks like he can throw, what is this? That's just his icon. He's got a bunch of armor, he's heavy, and he is slow. But if we scroll down here, we can see he's got a ballistic shield, a light machine gun, and an AR, AK-12. And then he's got the cluster charge, which I'm not actually sure exactly what that is. But it looks like, I'm assuming cluster charge, probably explode things up, explode walls, maybe barricades, and stuff like that. Now that was Fuse. Let's jump into Smoke. Need a bug exterminator? Call Smoke. He'll take out those Archeans, but he won't tell you what's in his grenades. Throw Z9 gas grenades for remote detonation. Blow them up and deal damage to hostiles in the gas. Enemies can't see you through that gas cloud. Your chance to get the upper hand. All right, you Archeans, take a deep breath. Smoke here has remote gas grenade, which I have seen used that can turn into a bunch of different things. Basically says his specially designed Z9 toxic gas grenades are particularly effective against these new enemies. Now Tachanka, now he's going to have his big old turret back. I know they, I believe I have to my understanding, they removed it from Siege, but now it's coming back in Extraction. You got the mounted LMG, the big old machine gun, the DP-27, which is actually kind of freaking cool that it's coming in there. Uh, LMG mounted with bulletproof front to protect yourself from projectiles will be in the game. It will be actually kind of cool to see how that plays out. That is Tachanka. And then we have Capitao. Like this guy is a crossbow man. He's a tactical crossbow as part of his loadout here. Again, unfortunately, don't know much about him. If we go on to Siege, we can kind of see maybe some more information about him. He's got the AR, the PARA 308, which looks kind of like this. It's a fully automatic, semi-automatic weapon, and then a light machine gun. But then he also comes with a tactical crossbow, which has a bunch of different stuff. If it, asphyxiating bolts burn the oxygen to give him perimeter which is lethal to your target smoke grenades stuff like that and i believe we have seen him use smoke grenades like that where he shot the ground to give his team cover fortunately i don't have that video with me at this time gridlock the enemy just doesn't know how to stop and smell the roses but that's all right show our a whole new world with gridlock's track stingers deploy your traps on the ground enemies on the trap get stung and they're slowed down Gridlock can place hostiles at a great disadvantage. Give them a moment to soak in the damage while you keep on going. Let's get stuck into it. Tracks Stingers, throws and deploys ground traps. Enemies hit by the trap take damage and move at a slower pace for a limited time. So kind of like a barbed wire in a sense. And our last person on the list at launch is Nomad. Nomad has journeyed through all kinds of weather. A sudden gust of wind is her element of surprise when she uses her air jab launcher fire proximity repulsion mines directly at the enemy to knock them back or scout ahead to set them up as traps make your move to save the world nomad has an air jab launcher shoots proximity mines knocking back enemies caught in the blast also clears areas of hazard and that's nomad and that's actually all 18 operators that will be available at launch you won't be able to play as ash thermart or or Mira, at least for the time being. Maybe they come later on, but they are considered control, like story characters, so we most likely probably won't be able to play them um, anytime soon. But with the upcoming future roadmap and the content that will be coming, we do know that Zofia will be one of the first, is a React operator, and she is said to be introduced during the Crisis event spillover. Crisis event is going to be one of the events that will be played, and you can check that out more. Um, on some of my other videos. Again, we don't know much about Zofia in regards to 
Rainbow Six Extraction, but obviously she probably exists in Siege, which obviously she does. No surprise there. And she has a light machine gun or an assault rifle, and then she has a lifeline here. I don't actually know what that is. Make use of electronically triggered projectile technology that can fire both concussion and impact ammunition, since multiple grenades are superposed in the gun barrel. Reloading magazines are no longer necessary. Okay, very, very interesting there. That's Zofia, going to be one of the first operators to come after launch, so keep your eye on that, guys. Really looking forward to this game, and for all Rainbow Six Extraction news or updates, Come right to this channel and we'll see you the next one. Peace.